Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five of my best WordPress plugins. Let's dive straight in. So guys, welcome to this video once again. I'm happy that I'll be sharing with you some of my best WordPress plugins. And in this list there are only five, which includes Elementor, includes Jetpack, includes WooCommerce, includes Yoast SEO, and includes WordFence. So let's jump straight to Elementor. Elementor is a page building a plugin and a theme builder at the same time. It helps you to create websites without writing any single line of code. It helps you to create headers, uh, footers of any website. Elementor enables you to do a couple of things. Uh, you can easily drag elements from different places on, of, of the website and drop them within a, 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 a certain kind of canvas. And with Elementor, you are able to install different templates that come with the free version, but also in the paid version, there are more other really nice templates that have been put there. Elementor really also has a very big community today, used by over 2 million users. I've used Elementor on my blog, GoTechUG. Actually, even wrote a case study of how someone can actually uh, redesign or design their website using Elementor. It's pretty a nice tool that you should try out um, when you're trying to build your next website project or if you're starting a new one. Elementor has uh, got a couple of user guides and tutorials that you guys can always use to follow up on what is happening and a lot of other resources, the community, and it's also having a frequently updated blog. The most interesting part for me is like they always feature some of the best websites designed with Elementor. They call it Elementor Sites of the Month and it's something I frequently check out and I see what people are able to create with Elementor. Some of also the most interesting thing now with Elementor is that you can easily um, create actually pop-ups and, um, and, and opt-ins on your website, which is pretty interesting. It means you're going to be pulling out a lot of other plugins in your, in your website. And the more, the less of the plugins, the better your website. Like it will be, you know, a little bit faster and not having a lot of code executing in the back end. The pro version of Elementor comes at 49 uh, bucks a month if you're using it for a personal site which is only one and you have a couple of things like 300 plus templates 500 pro widgets and a couple of other things and also if you have about you know three sites you want to work with elementor it bundles 50 pro widgets 300 plus for about you know 100 bucks and it's really on budget and you know, based on how many things you're going to achieve and a couple of plugins you will have you will, you will have been saved from actually buying. One of the most other interesting thing about Elementor is that it has now grown its community really big. Uh, on Facebook there is actually a Facebook uh, Facebook group for Elementor where people are actually able to help one another and it's really an interesting community you should also check out. On my number two plugin is Jetpack. Jetpack is really a, a very interesting tool you guys should check out. Jetpack have, uh, I've managed to you know, use Jetpack on a couple of uh, sites that I run in the background. Um, and one of the most interesting thing is the security and the performance for me like i've been always able to check easily how sites are performing whether they are the downtime the daily visitors monthly statistics and how where people are coming from it's basically a tool like not very um, detailed like google analytics but it gives 
an ability to look into the analytics of a website, which I find really, really, really interesting. Jetpack also has a very interesting feature whereby if your website is, is having issues or kind of it goes down when your server is down or something, Jetpack will always notify you through an email and it will also tell you how many you know how many hours minutes your website has been down which i find really interesting jetpack is from automatic the the company behind wordpress and and it, it also really has a bundle of of other collective things that you 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 would find interesting which i have not actually tried out as an individual when we look into the packages, there is actually a free version that I really also find pretty interesting. You can start with it and try out and test a couple of things. On the other side, you can have a package of about you know, 39 euros per month, which includes daily automated site backups, you know, an archive, a protection against brute force attacks, downtown monitoring, what I actually uh, had told you already, an automated spam filter which which is really really interesting jetpack is one of also the most popular wordpress plugins with a number of users really uh, if we are to check out the number of users of jetpack the plugin you can just google it up here plugins Let's go into the repository and just check for jetpack So Jetpack is currently used by over 5 million people. That is massive. That is massive. So you should check out Jetpack and see how best it can help you in your next website project. Number three is WooCommerce. Think of WooCommerce as a plugin that is that turns around your normal website into a shop online. WooCommerce is an enabler for businesses online. Most importantly, businesses that are using WordPress as a platform. It's really an interesting tool. It has enabled uh, a number of store owners to easily integrate, to easily bring their businesses online. And at so far, it is used by over 4 million users. If we look into the repository, there is something like over 4 million installations. So it's used by over 4 million people. Like the other thing about WooCommerce, it is also made by Automatic and it has a big, big support team from different people around the world. The other thing about WooCommerce I would really like to mention is that it is extendable. You can use WooCommerce in so many other ways to enable other people actually to sell. For example, um, I know a, a company called Cashleo that helps people uh, start receive payments on their websites using WooCommerce. So they are actually a payment gateway platform that was basically built to enable businesses process payments through their WooCommerce enabled um, websites. So with WooCommerce, you find a number of other tools that actually extend more services to their clients using WooCommerce as a platform. And I find that really, really interesting. The number three plugin that wouldn't miss on this list is Yoast SEO. Think about Yoast as a plugin that is going to tell Google about your website, the existence of your website. This is Yoast. Yoast is such useful that it simplifies a process to a beginner their website into the search engine. With Yoast, you are able to upload things like sitemaps generated from your WordPress backend. Uh, you are able to notify Google or register the different search engines. With Yoast, you are able to write content, have it published, and 
during the process of writing the content you are able to see how it's performing or how it will even perform in the search engine it can guide you in optimizing the, the keywords for google so anyway with yoast you are able to to have your website submitted into search engine in the simplest way possible you are able to get insights into uh, content and how it's going to perform with yoast you are actually able to redirect a number of links that are missing or new content you are able to actually get you know ideas of which keywords or how even your keyword is 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 performing or it's 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 appearing within your content and how it will perform when when your content is is published out there and yoast has been there for a really really good time yoast is uh, having a really big big user base and support community and so it's something it's a tool you should uh, not miss out if you want to get your website indexed in the search engine result pages and the very last is wordfence wordfence is a free and premium wordpress security plugin if not one of the best i will say it is a tool that has opened my eyes and showed me how many attacks can actually get to your website in just a day you are actually able to see how many attacks are directed to your website how many attacks or attempts that are being directed to your login page how many times and which address which from which region which address i mean the ip address of whatever attacker is with wordfence you are able to whitelist blacklist a number of attacks from different people from different ip addresses wordfence really makes the whole security thing in wordpress really really easy it is one of the plugin that will inform you or it will notify you about changes within other plugins in your in case those plugins release updates in case those themes release updates in case there is a wordpress update wordfence will always notify you and you can always come and check it out in case someone logs into your word your wordpress website wordfence will also notify you about who has logged in and from where they have logged in so i find really wordfence a really really nice tool that you should try out and i wouldn't finish this list without adding wordfence to well now that you have looked into my five of the best WordPress plugins, I would like to hear from you in the comment box below some of your favorite WordPress plugins. And don't forget to subscribe. See you.